Uh, we'll see it a few more times. I am going to put a few pictures here of those rims. Uh, th th there were some people that already suggested that it was a similar uh, rim with a disc. Welcome to another Bumpai video and my name is Art and today we have another manga reading video and for those unaware what manga reading entitles it's basically me flipping through the pages of a manga trying to identify cars tell you a little bit of the background of that and that's basically the fun out of it so today we have Dark Horse uh, published You're Under Arrest part 6 out of 8 by Kosuke Fujishima and it's going to be a very full day because it's got 15 cars in total and I've also got two additional mystery cars to reveal for the next episode. So let's get into this. Okay, so let's get into this sixth manga of Your Under Arrest and we have a lot of things to cover today. Uh, Your Under Arrest is basically written by Kosuke Fujishima. Kosuke Fujishima is also very well known for Oh My Goddess, which is, uh, well, his well-known work uh, that actually was a spin-off of uh, You're Under Arrest. And today's storyline is mostly about Strike Man. Strike Man is an American superhero-inspired figure that is somewhere in Japan trying to be a superhero. Um, so this Strike Man, he is, uh, you know, he's going to get filth and despicable scum and he's going to pick them up and put everything right so he's a bit of a well you know you can see here this guy is all um, all tied up because he was drunk anyway uh, the most important thing that we can identify here is the Honda today the Honda today by um, uh, th that's basically the police patrol car and it has some special rims in there. It says Folk Racing uh, 87C, that's what I read first, but those don't exist. We have 84C, which is some sort of a, a disc that you can put on top of the Folk Racing uh, mesh rims to make it more aerodynamic. So this is a very cool rim to actually have on your car. And uh, we'll see it a few more times. I am going to put a few pictures here of those rims. Uh, th th there were some people that already suggested that it was a similar uh, rim with a disc. So. In here we can see in the newspaper a car and the car is presumably a Toyota Mark II X70. I'm not entirely sure. Um, Oh, this man was guilty of extortion, so he was hung up by Strike Man. Um, another Honda today. And then here we have uh, the most interesting part of it all. We have two pages where we can identify a lot of cars. So first of all we have the Toyota Sports 800, owned by Natsuki. And these rims are probably Watamanes or uh, inspired by that. There's also a car over here where I'm not sure which one it is. The, uh, the headlights are very distinct with a very distinct um, bumper. So I thought it would be either a Subaru 1000 or Subaru 1000, depending on where you're from, or it's the Hatsu Fellow Max Hardtop Coupe from 1973. Um, but it has a different indicator light, so I'm not entirely sure about that. So over here we have the Nissan Skyline GTS R R31, clearly. This is a very rare car, only like 300 of those were ever built. Um, and it's a very rare occasion if you uh, encounter them on the streets. So, it, well, even in uh, the late 90s, this was a very rare car. Uh, next to it we have a Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC3S, which is, uh, I think, uh, after facelift, judging from the, the taillights, so that must be around 91, 92. And then we have a Daihatsu Mira TRXX, and that's exactly the same car as Marty owns uh, from Mighty Car Mods. On the next page, uh, Strike Man is uh, going to take revenge on drivers that park wrongly on the curb, or at the curb and he uh, basically deflates the tires. And the first car he deflated the tires from is a Toyota Light ASF XV, 
Um, these uh, fenders are uh, quite obviously um, from the FXV and the taillights are quite clearly from the Light A, so it's not a Master Ace. Uh, in front of it we have a Honda Prelude 3rd generation. It took me a while to figure this one out. I thought at first the Mustang uh, 626 Coupe. Um, then I, so, uh, I kind of thought it would be Honda Accord Coupe. And then I figured out, okay, it's a Prelude. Could be much easier to identify if I would have looked at the right angles at the, at the rear. Another funny thing about the Honda Prelude, the third generation, is that it actually has a pervert handle. Jalopnik did a very good article on that, uh, where in Japan, um, during the late uh, 80s and uh, early 90s, there was like this date car, so that would be the Nissan Silvia or the Honda Prelude or the Toyota Celica. And basically, um, you would date a girl and then you would try to, um, you know, start to kiss the girl and then lower the seat to kind of get on top of it. <laughs> you, you can get the gist out of it from the picture that I'm showing here. So this Honda Prelude is a, a perfect car. Quite funny if that actually would have been featured right here in this manga, but it hasn't. Uh, but you know, Strike Man is taking revenge for that. So we have the Mazda Porter here. It's definitely a second generation Porter uh, because of the square headlights instead of the round ones of the first generation and uh, in front of it it's a Mini Mark V and probably a Cooper model because of the white fenders or the over fenders here. And then in front of that we have the Toyota Sports 800 owned by Natsuki. The car here is unidentifiable but I, I think it is probably something like uh, RX-7 or uh, Toyota Supra. Um, yeah, it, it even gets worse. The police is starting to dress up like a uh, superhero, so it only gets worse in this story. Um, let's continue with Strike Man. And then at this page, that's the end of the, of the, the first story, that's basically showing uh, one of the mystery cars that I revealed last episode. And this is a rough CTR 3.4 based on a Porsche 930. Um, yeah, uh, Skilly 19 was right about this one, that it's a rough CTR 3.4. Um, Gret was also a bit uh, in the right direction with naming a Porsche, but you know, uh, rough is renowned for replacing many, many body panels, replacing the entire engine, and Porsche doesn't consider this to be a Porsche anymore. Um, at the end of the episode, we have the Honda Today once more, and on the next page, we have a Lotus 7 Series 1. Because of the small windows here, it's clearly a Lotus 7 Series 1 and not a Series 2. Um, yeah, Strike Man continues, and he continues to strike people, he continues to uh, fight for justice, and then this girl is trying to take a piss out of him and trying to convince him to steal money for her, basically steal it back. Uh, here's the second uh, mystery car that I revealed. It's a Subaru Rex Combi, probably a turbo, four-wheel drive model. And uh, Gret CZ immediately spotted this one as a Subaru Rex Combi, or he guessed it. Um, he was looking into the right direction. It took me a year to figure out that this is actually a Subaru Rex Combi. I was absolutely convinced that it was a Daihatsu Charade. And the reason why I thought it was a Daihatsu Charade was because of the round headlights, the shape of the front fenders, the shape of the bonnet, which all matched. But then the rear end didn't match and the fuel cap didn't match. So I was lost there. I thought like maybe this is some sort of mystery Daihatsu car. And I never figured that it would be a Rex. Well, I looked into the Rexes, but they had different headlights. Yes, they have different headlights, but the Subaru Rex Combi four-wheel drive has this particular front fascia. So it has this particular round headlights with honeycomb grille, 
which is only available uh, for this model. So yeah, I was kind of lost there. So, Rex, um, so Gret absolutely did a very good job there guessing it correctly. Okay, so Strike Man is going to steal some money from, uh, I don't know, I think it's uh, uh, some sort of loan shark system. Yes, so it's loan sharking where he steals the money from and they're going to put him right. We have a car here that's driving off, apparently with uh, you know, the money, so the guy is picking up the money in the background. Uh, this car is a Toyota Light Ace as well, so but previously we had a Light Ace, Light Ace FXV somewhere around here. Let's see where that was. Toyota Light Ace FXV, that's over there. And here we have a Light Ace uh, GXL and the reason why I think it's a GXL is because of the turbo badging, the four-wheel drive badging which was only on that particular model and also the the stripes here on the side of the van. Um, the, the, the guys run away with the money. Uh, she is the brains behind the whole uh, operation and they try to get away with all the money. Nakajima follows with, uh, with his patrol bike and we have a couple of unidentifiable cars here because they're too small for me to actually look at them. Uh, nice, uh, I think that's two-stroke powered skateboard. We have nowadays much better electrical powered skateboards than this. We have a uh, uh, Honda Today over here. The two people that got away with the money in the end get punished by Strike Man! So that's it for today. Thank you for joining the sixth episode of the manga reading. And then, of course, I have to reveal the mystery car from the seventh episode. So, mystery car number one is here. And mystery car number two is here. If you know what these cars are, just leave a comment below and tell me what you think it is and I'll tell you whether you were correct or not. And of course give you credits in the next video. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon.